All right, hello everyone. So let's take a look at the astro timing analysis, technical analysis results for yesterday. Now today's the 24th and yesterday was the 23rd of June. And I put on there the astro hours for the day here, as you can see, right? So the first turnaround level is from nine to 11. And that is here. As you can see, that is your 10.30, 10.45, 11 o'clock market comes down into our target zone. Remember, we're measuring and calculating our technical analysis levels as well. One without the other is not a good idea at all. All right, so just make sure you're always using your technical analysis and your astrology together, right? Then the market comes down into the zone. Now, I didn't have, a I didn't have um, an astrological hour for 2.30 or somewhere around 2.30. The closest was um, about half an hour ahead on this bar was 10 past three as you can see we would not have done anything here because it's getting into the middle of nowhere all right but here you would have taken profit why simply because that was a target right so we're coming from one price level to our target so just get out or you move your stop forward take partial profit in other words you manage the trade but you don't sit on your butt doing nothing obviously all right because we're doing intraday swings here um so really really nice to know that these swings are working for you now what else we've got what then we've got three that's three like i said we're not doing anything here four o'clock this is your four o'clock not much to do here but here as you can see it's pretty close to 10 past four and it is pretty much on the daily and the white line now you could have sold here with a tight stop loss above the white line okay sell on the white line just like there okay stop loss just above the white line around there okay why because if the astrology is correct it should not go any higher as you can see the market went higher why because Carl was talking it's not a problem he was talking actually the way he was he was talking in between 410 and 645 funny isn't it so he starts talking at five o'clock and until he starts talking you see how the market just keeps crumbling down so the market just turned around into a downwards motion around that time. This is what? 4.45. So like I said, at 4.45 bar, the bar opened here, as you can see. All right. So if you had sold on the white line here, the market would have come down a little bit. You would have been stopped out afterwards. Okay. And that would have been it. Now, as you can see, the risk return ratios are really, really good here because we've got the price levels to trade on like your white or your, your white line or your daily pivot or your weekly pivot as well. That's also an option. You could trade on that one as well. If it's, if the time and the price are right, okay, if they collide and that's it. And then the market starts turning around at six from here at five o'clock. So we didn't have anything at five o'clock or six o'clock. The market just started turning. This is not a place for us to trade at 6.45. So why? Because it's in the middle of nowhere. Okay. And then we've got this level down here, which is 9.15, which is, again, for us, nowhere. But you can see the market is in our target zone once again. And then it just bounces up from there. So understanding your targets is very important. This is why at the Global Trader Club, we're using astrology and technical analysis together because when they match, it's just like impossible for you to lose when they match. It's just not possible. Uh, and if you've made a mistake, like I said here, Okay, it's because we missed something. Uh, and then, bang, your stop loss is really, really tight. Let's take a look at the euro dollar. Now, this is yesterday. Let's see what happened yesterday. That's four o'clock. What's that? Look, that's 9.45 bar. All right, so as you can see, we've got 9 to 11 there. The market comes up. 9.45, making the Asia session. All right, that's your Asia session. Taking the supply there and just crumbling down into 11.45. Okay, so that is what 11 o'clock is here. Whoops, 11 o'clock is here. And then obviously you're not going to trade here. Why? Because this is the zone that we ascertained yesterday in our technical analysis. So the market comes down at the 11.45 bar, let's say 12 o'clock, okay, and then bounces up. This is a technical level where you can buy, actually, because if you're following the videos, Weekly pivot is something we definitely use all the time. All right, if you know technical analysis a little bit, if you learned it from us, you'd be bouncing off that as well. So market comes down, you just leave your trade, get out, 
and you can even reverse if you wanted to. If you wanted to wait to double check, you need to go forward, 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 forward. This is 315, okay? And this is three o'clock. So I said between 310, 410, you can see the market comes back really close to the weekly. You can't really expect it to touch the weekly line again, all right? Because if I turn this into a five minute chart, you'll probably see how the demand and supply worked on this bounce here, all right? So the market comes back, you just go long again, all right? And then from here, as you can see, that's 315. 315, market opens on that bar and goes up as well. So down, up at those hours. Um, sometimes people say this, but listen, you said between 9 and 11, and the market went down at 10 o'clock. You know, it opened at 10 o'clock and then went down. What do you do with such a situation? Because you sometimes wait for 11, don't you? You certainly do. What you do is simple because you understand this is like these are the levels where you're going to sell off from because markets are resistance what you got you what you can easily do is just follow the trend line okay because if it's going to turn around and fall it's going to break your support then once you start breaking you just go short same for a resistance level as well All right but if you understand this is when the market's going to turn 11 o'clock yesterday was actually quite interesting uh, it worked really well with gold because there was a special planet there. And sometimes you're asking, well, sometimes gold is turning around at 11 while this one turned around at 9.45. Why is that? Let me give you a short explanation. Because what you've got to do is understand that planets, right? Different planets have different effects on different assets. So once you know, who's, you know which planet is tickling which asset, then you get a better idea of things. 9.45, yeah, 9.45, 9.57. What's tickling Euro dollar is a special planet that happened at 9.57 yesterday. All right. And gold, gold's a different ball game. All right, so you can check them out. You can learn all this. It's not difficult at all. Astrology really just saves your ass every time now then what else happened what's this what time is this this is five o'clock so we didn't have anything at five o'clock as you can see this is seven o'clock now look at that 6 45 7 15. once again the market comes back you see how it's going slightly higher all the time and remember with the euro dollar if you're watching the technical analysis like we want to go up with this one Right, we want to go up to fill up these levels as well with the euro dollar. So it's really interesting how this is all working out. On the one hand, this is an impulse wave, um, you know, with an A, B, C formation happening. So it could, you know, like just tumble down all the way back down here. On the other hand, there's a double bottom here at the end of a trend, obviously, right, implying that we could turn around. So we're like on both sides of the trade here, right? It could go both ways. But the beautiful thing is you've got astrology on your side. So once you've got astrology on your side, you understand on that day where it's going to go. And every Monday I give swing days, right? And the swing day, can I say it? <clears throat> For the euro dollar this week, I can say it because it's gone. Let's do it was Monday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. All right, so Monday, market goes up. So euro dollar was Monday. And then on Wednesday, we came back for a retest, okay? But we're happy to go along with the euro dollar. Like I said, we're, you know, we're good to buy on it. We're good to buy and go long. So Monday was like a nice day. It went up two days beautifully comes back to retest on a Wednesday and Wednesday was also a swing day for the indices and if you check out the indices you're going to love that it was just like awesome trading and then the market's back up again on your seven hour and that's it seven o'clock bar there and then market goes up into our hour it should be about 23 11 o'clock there you go that's your 11 o'clock right there okay beauty let's take a look at Dow 
Look at that, beautiful on the weekly pivot and on the PST daily, both ends of the trade working out perfectly. Look, 10.45, 10.30, look at that, exactly on your white, on your, on exactly on your weekly pivot, going all the way up into 2.15. I've got nothing at 2.15. What's this? This is 4.30. Got nothing at 4.30. I've got nothing at these hours until... 6.45.7, this is 6.45.7, so there's nothing to do here. This was a PST level, as you can see. Market comes back again into what? 7.45, that is 7.30, 7.15 right there opening. So it comes to the weekly period again, bounces off. We didn't have anything at 7.45, but that was definitely doable. Okay, that was definitely doable. See how they bought during Europe session and then down here again okay so that could have been doable and it's quite close to 7 15 okay quite close well about 15 minutes off yeah because that's just 7 45 half an hour off sorry and that's 7 30 bar so about half an hour off comes back to the weekly pivot and goes back up you see with something like this your stop loss is really close because if you're going to go long there your stop loss should be just under that somewhere around there and that's your risk and just to the daily pivot is already twice up to there is three times return up to there is like five times return risk return to five and what's that let's see what that is that is 10.45 and we didn't have anything at 10.45 but market comes back down to 11.50 goes back up and look it's making our targets all right this is why targeting is so important it really is. If you don't have targeting, you're screwed. Now that was Dow Jones, right? So let's take a look at let's take a look at Bitcoin, shall we? Okay, so time and price together are really the best thing. Now, if you're watching the analysis, the daily videos, if you're getting them in the club area, you know we're going long, right? You know we're going up in fact i've been encouraging people to buy at the bottoms and some people said listen are you sure right listen we're never 100 sure but when you got astrology on your side you're more likely to succeed on the turns and even if you fail your stop loss is really tight like i demonstrated now look this is seven o'clock right this is yesterday this is the whole of yesterday all right Nothing to do there. We've got nothing. This is daily pivot of yesterday. So we've got nothing happening on the daily pivot. So the market goes up, up, up. 9.50, what's that? 9.35. That white line was probably a PST level. Now we're going up. Now, if anybody sold here, obviously they stopped out here. Okay. But remember, we're going up. Okay. So I've said we're looking to buy Bitcoin because we want to get up here. All right. So we're looking to go up. So on the pullbacks, I did say go long. And this is 720, guys. There. And this is 705. So the market comes back to the daily pivot at the astrological hours. Right there between 645 and 7. That's 635. That's 720, you know. So we're already here at the week daily pivot. Then you're going up long. Okay, that's just how it is. You know what I mean? So get the direction and then understand where you're going to go by yourself. And that's it. And sometimes, like I said, you got to go both directions. You do. And if you went both directions on this, your stop loss would have been really tight here again. Same here. Look, if you're going to buy on a daily pivot, your stop loss has to be just under the lower that day. You see that bar there? It's that one. Okay. Just, oops just under there so your stop loss as you can see is like pretty tight it's just going to be somewhere around here okay under that low and just to get up there it's already like one to three and you got like one to five okay and see how it works on that one nicely beautiful coming back for a support because that would have been a pst level i guess something like that yep all right, so we're looking to go up, so no surprises. If you got in there, that's it, you're cooking. All right, all the best. Have a good one. I'll see you guys tomorrow with 
um, another video regarding what happened Friday plus the swing days and swing days are just working really good. Just knowing when the market is going to swing will set you up. Why? Because you know what day to trade. Isn't that amazing? You know what day to trade on that day, you know, at what time to trade. Plus you got technical analysis. You go what price to trade. I mean, that's just magic. All right. Have a good one.